Hey, what's going on, YouTube? It's Ill Will. I'm back in the house. I uh, just finished playing golf. It's a nice, wonderful Sunday. Been blessed. Went to church. Now I'm back. And today I want to do a review on my favorite lens. Check that out right there. It's the Sony 70 to 200. Rain, rain, beats. Sony 70 to 200, uh, the F4, because I don't have money for the F2.8. That's just it's ridiculous. It's for professionals anyway. But I'm not a professional, I'm just an amateur photographer. Uh, this lens is lightweight. Uh, it's in that like professional grayish white color. I mean, people you know can't miss this uh, contrast the camera very well. Also has a lens hood. I use the uh, Tiffin 72 millimeter, the circular polarizer. Uh, it's definitely great. You can check my uh, description out. I have a link if you wanna go get that. And also this is not the G Master. This is just the G uh, series 70 to 200. Uh, once again, F4, uh, F4 uh, 70 to 200 G with the optical, uh, this camera also has the optical steady shot, so um, you know you don't have to worry about a lot of shaking in your shots, or it, just that it kind of eliminates pretty much the jitters of what you're shooting in video, um, and so I like that feature a lot. But I mean, the lens hood makes it a little bit longer lens, as you can see. But at the same time, uh, compared to my, I used to have an A77. And any 70 to 200, whether it be a Tokina or a, um, what's another brand? I can't think of the name of the brands. There's so many different brands that make something for Sony right now. Uh, third party uh, lenses are usually heavier. A lot of third party lenses are always heavier, but this one is just so light and it mounts real easy. It's the E mount, of course. Um, I'm actually shooting. A72, I gotta stack my bread up for that A9, man. I'm an amateur, I don't really have a lot of money, so. Uh, definitely, let me see if I can get this on here. But easy installation. Just like that. So even with the, uh, with the camera, it's a little bit longer, and you can see how, if you have this out in public, it just kinda like stands out. I know everywhere I go with this thing, everybody's always like, oh, you're a professional photographer. Oh, who are you with? Uh, are you with the paper? Are you with the Augusta Chronicle? Uh, are you with News 12 or something like that? And uh, I, mean, I mean, it just looks ex expensive. Uh, this one I got on uh, Amazon, uh, I think for one of their Thanksgiving, you know, like the black sale or, okay. I got this for the electronics for Black Friday. Uh, and it cost me around, uh, I think at that time it was 800, 900 bucks. And then the F2.8 version actually cost 
twice as much. Like I said, it takes wonderful pictures. It takes wonderful video for me from afar. And I'm a street photographer, so that's why I like using 70 to 200 because I can stay kind of far away from my subject without them knowing that I'm there. And this camera is just good for that when you just kind of like hide in the cut. No, oh, oh, snipe, snipe. It's like when I'm trying to snipe people with my shooting skills, you know what I'm saying? I really don't want them to be, to know that I'm there. And because people just act different when they know a camera's watching them or when they see the opportunity for a photo shoot. And I don't want that. It's also good for portrait photography, it's good for sports. Um, as you can see from the pictures, uh, I really don't have too much of an issue shooting in sports. Uh, it gives me a, a wide range, focal range, so I don't have to keep switching. Uh, you know lenses out like I said I'm an amateur photographer so I just don't have like three or four cameras so I can just slap lenses on it and I can change from camera to camera when I need it and when I travel I'm doing street photography I just want everything to fit in my bag and so I usually have this lens a 50 millimeter and a 24 to 70 that's about it so um, for everything that I need that pretty much is sufficient for for what I'm looking for also this camera has a uh, dual inner motor system and internal focus mechanism uh, that's good for like catching fast shots uh, especially I do a lot of uh, motorsports a lot of racing type shots and those shots require a lens that can keep up and autofocus quick on a dime and that's what I need and this camera actually does that it keeps up with it uh, all right, so the biggest thing that a lot of people ask is, all right, so this is the F4 and there's an F2.8 version. Do you even really need the 2.8? My answer, no, don't get the 2.8. The reason I don't get the 2.8 is because one, it costs probably like a thousand dollars more. Um, and once you get it, yeah, you're gonna see the difference, but I do a lot of Lightroom, Photoshop editing, and I think that my editing skills can pretty much erase the fact. I mean, I mean, how many people do you know that actually are looking at your photos once they're quality photos and say, oh, he shot that with a 2.8, not a F4. No, nobody cares about that. You just want good quality shots. People want clarity. People want, uh, you know, the right lighting. Uh, good makeup and that's it. Also a good feature on this lens is These little buttons right here. I don't know if you can see those Yeah, so like whenever you're catching a, a Subject in in the shot what you want to do is actually Focus on that person hit one of these buttons and it actually tracks the person and keeps them in focus the whole way through the whole shot And I think that's amazing um, because my finger is usually already right here uh, with the zoom, manipulating the zoom and the focus if I'm a man, if I'm a manual uh, focus. So to know that I can zoom perfectly and then hit either of these buttons, there's two of them. So no matter how you hold the camera like this or some people focus, you know, kind of on the top like this, the button's still there and they're in convenient locations. Also on the bottom, I'm sorry, there's actually three, one, two and then three so i like that here you also have a button for your autofocus and your manual focus so you can easily easily switch between autofocus and manual focus the next button here is your full or the crop sensor button uh so it works on that's another thing about this camera so let's say i did keep my a77 if i kept the a77 i would be able to shoot this uh lens on it uh, I would have to probably get a converter uh, since it's not an E mount. I think it was it was an A mount, it was an alpha mount. So I would have the converter on there, throw this on there, and I can go from full to crop sensor. So um, I think I think that's a pretty good uh, showing the versatility of this lens. Um, like I said, you can also I don't know why you would do it, but you can turn off optical steady shot. I'm not really like that. I like stable photos and videos, so. Um, I want to do too much work than I have to so pretty much that stays on uh, And also you have mode one and two here, but I haven't really figured that out yet Like I said, I'm not really sure I'm learning so in the comments if you you know Want to give me a tutorial on how to use the different modes or there's something that I may have missed Go ahead feel free to leave that in the comments 
Um, but uh, like I said, I'm shooting the A7 II, and this is probably the best lens that I've ever had since getting in uh, deep with photography. So I definitely like that. Uh, I like the price. Yeah, it's a little high, but you have to pay for quality. And yeah, you can go try to pay, you know, $40, $50, or $100, $200 for a lens, um, but you won't get exactly what you are looking for. I'm definitely uh, uh, loving the Sony lens. Um, and I think with this lens, whatever you pay for it, you're definitely gonna feel like you got your money's worth. So check the pictures out, check some more of the video that I, footage that I've taken with this lens. Um, like, share, subscribe, and hey, my Instagram, I have all my shots, uh, my daily photos, um, some thoughts of the days. And if you can, leave in the comments what you like to see more of, what you wouldn't like to see more of, maybe what I should talk about, and you know, throw around some ideas for some stuff that I can put on the channel. But until next time, this is Ill Will. I appreciate you watching my channel. Help me grow, like, share, and subscribe with your friends. Uh, and definitely, like I said, just the more uh, comments that I have, the better. Just tell me how I can, um, uh, I guess, you know, evolve into this YouTube universe. Uh, it's me signing off from South Carolina. I'll holla at you. Yeah.